morning on my way down to um, the Square Tower in Portsmouth and given an exclusive invitation to go and see the arrival of HMS Queen Elizabeth um, coming to Portsmouth. It's going to be our new home, 65,000 tonne uh, new aircraft carrier. It's going to be huge. Um, so it's very early. It was one minute past six last I checked. It could be a little bit later now, I don't know. Um, but I'm on my way down to Square Tower to go and film her arrival for you. So come along. It's a very busy morning, more so than I thought it was going to be. Um, but I guess the entire city is coming out to see the arrival of this brand new aircraft carrier. Uh, it's coming down from Scotland and it's going to be stationed in the um, Royal Navy Dockyard. So uh, it's a big thing for the city, to be fair. Uh, we have a lot of uh, Royal Navy here, sort of reaffirming the home of the Royal Navy, to be honest, this arrival of this new ship. Um, I'm fairly excited to see what it looks like. It's huge um, from what I gather. So let's go and check it out. Oh, yes. Yeah. We can see that one in there. It's probably further out than you think it's probably. Yeah. Good morning, Michelle. I'm good to just go in. And... Yes, you are. Oh, thank you very much. Are you alright? Yes, as long as you send me some food. I'll send you a video if you like. Is that alright? Yeah. Where do I, where do I go? Oh, sorry. <laughs> where you go? I've never been here. Oh, before. look, it's really cute. Is it? Go straight the way through and then yeah. turn left and then you'll see some uh, stairs. Yeah. And follow the steps all the way around. Wanted to shop the top. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Entire Portsmouth seafront is absolutely packed right now, and it's glorious. It's an absolutely lovely day today. You can see over there, you've got Spinnaker Tower. Um, this building here is Ben Ainsley Racing Headquarters. So you've got Gunwolf Keys over there as well. Look at the sun. It's like 6:30 in the morning at the moment, and it's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, and, and of course, unexploded uh, bombs from the Second World War. Absolutely, uh, ranging from over 16 million pounds area the United States, driving ships across the globe, across the globe, a number of the flight bombs and World War II vintage degree. So, uh, it, you know, we've got a pretty uh, clear channel now because, I mean, this is absolutely a huge ship, as I said, it's, uh, it's the largest world navy. It, it is, it's 65,000 tons, uh, so three times the displacement of the old uh, invincible class of carriers. Yes, um, with the preparation work to, to get it in, that's one thing. The, the preparation work to get it out to where it was manufactured up in uh, Rosyth in Edinburgh, I think it was something like 14 inches clearance either side as it inched its way out and uh, just 20 inches under the kill. Not, not a great deal of room, we're absolutely right. It was a beautiful calm day and just like this to me, so uh, that helps a great deal of people's cross -quiz. Well, uh, as we can see, uh, she's just uh, making her way around, meandering in a sort of S-shaped pattern before uh, coming down the so, so, so she'll be making her, her way in. Uh, we'll come back and uh, describe what's on board. Uh, we've got some really, really interesting facts and figures. Uh, by the end of uh, her journey into port, we'll all be extremely happy. We'll come back later with more information for you. Helicopters as well. Yeah, the F-35 Bravo's um, jet is one of the most advanced uh, fast jets in the world, actually. Uh, that would be the sort of six wing uh, that would be on there. It would carrying helicopters. Yeah, uh, something up, up to 40 aircraft, 40 uh, jet fighters. Yeah, depending on what role it's going to be in. Um, obviously, if you're moving an airfield around, you can choose to put on it uh, 
and any aircraft that we might fly. Um, in essence, there are two roles. What one is carrier strike, which will be 35 feet, along with um, uh, helicopters for, for um, air surveillance. If it's going into the literal maneuver of roles, we call it, if it's going to be moving uh, Royal Marines around, it will have anything to support about the Yeah, and uh, the the first aircraft to ever land on her was a Merlin helicopter last month, which uh, made a fantastic photograph. But you, when you saw the pictures of that, you, you just realised how what a huge deck, this tiny little helicopter, which up close is quite large, but on the deck just got lost there. It's very tiny on the deck. Yeah, it is. It is. It's huge. 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 It's um, but yes, my well, first visit up there, most of it was covered up because they were painting it. The second time it, it, it was opened up to the elements and uh, the support site. Yeah, and uh, well, you know, we, we're just looking at it now and it, it's, it's there and the distance is getting larger, it's, it's zooming ever larger. But when you, you've been on board, when you get up really close to it, it it's just an awesome sight, isn't it? Uh, it, it is a spectacular sight. Yeah, and of course it's going to be very, very close as it comes down the solar here. Pretty close to the, the, you know, the Portsmouth side. We're going to get a really fantastic view. We'll be able to see the crew wave at them. Uh, well, yes, and I'm sure it'll be outlined in the decks ready to wave back as well. Um, yes, it's, it's coming through the entrance of Portsmouth Harbour. There's a, a, only a couple of dozen metres either side. Uh, everybody should get a really good view. Uh, we, we talked about a weight, 65,000 uh, tonnes, biggest uh, warship, biggest aircraft carrier we've ever had. Uh, the length, something like 932 feet, 239 feet wide, three football pitches, is, as you say, that's how we, we measure things, uh, and a top speed of uh, 25 knots, so uh, a pretty good, uh, you know, pretty fast ship. Uh, yeah, a pretty fast ship, so we should go a little bit size, a little bit of speed out, exercise, and try that speed out, which I was being very successful. Yes, of course, uh, she was with uh, the United States Air Force and Air Force 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 but just to once again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, just to emphasize, please, uh, if you are at your vantage point uh, where you need to be, uh, please, could you just stay there rather than following the path of the ship? I know you will want to do that, some of you will want to do that, but uh, stay where you are, uh, simply because there are a lot of people lining the rooms here today, uh, just for our own comfort. Just stay where we all are, and today's experience will be well, just a piece of history in the making, and it is unfolding as we speak right now. Five, please. 
motorboats there. We've got the tug pulling it in. We've got a few uh, lifeguard boats here, and then there. there she is, HMS Queen Elizabeth. Just below us, can't you? Screaming out. So, we hope you enjoy this wonderful, wonderful time. The HMS Queen Elizabeth is the square. And then here's all the little boats following her on her way into the Mount Poseidon. That's me zooming right out. What a sight this morning, um, absolutely incredible. The Red Tower, what do you know about the Red Tower game? Tell us a little bit about it. It's intensity for English. I got Michelle here. Hi Michelle. I work with Michelle, she's great. <laughs> it won't, it won't go on the big screen, don't worry. 
She's very excited about all of the uh, the boats in, out there. And of course, we talked about the aircraft on board when uh, she is fully stocked, as it were. She can complete 72 sorties per day with the fast jets. We mentioned the, uh, the crew on board, there's uh, 700 crew on board today. 470 cabins, 1,600 bunks on board. Of course, uh, when the aircraft carrier is carrying uh, all the aircraft, the helicopters, the fast jets, uh, that number of people, 700 currently, will more than double, hence the number of bunks needed. She's actually got 226 miles worth of pipes inside the vessel. And interestingly, uh, between uh, this ship and uh, her sister ship, the HMS Prince of Wales, which is probably uh, four years behind in terms of commissioning, it supported something like 10,000 UK jobs, which is just brilliant for this country. Yeah. I thought they might do another fly-by. Here they come. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for most of us we would have uh, got a, a whole collection of pictures and uh, experienced a piece of British history in the making here as the Royal Navy's largest ever aircraft carrier, largest ever warship has come home to its new berth here in Portsmouth. Commander Beastie Williams is still with us. Um, Beastie, she's going to be here for a little while undergoing some tests. Yes, indeed. It, it's a follow-on from, from the, the trials she's been undertaking. The last few weeks she's been uh, testing her propulsion trials, and, uh, in other words, proving that she, she is capable as a ship. It allows us to work out what she can and can't do. Uh, it allows us to test systems to make sure that they're, they're up to speed and ready. Uh, and once you've done that, um, clearly you can come alongside and just maybe make some changes that you require uh, uh, and or start to fit the other systems that you need to keep the next once you've tested. We mentioned, uh, and, and for those of you who got great pictures, you would have seen something like uh, 200 odd people in white boiler suits, who are civilians there, you know, engineers and, and so on on board. Uh, they will continue to be part of that process oh, while she's here. Uh, absolutely. The, the ship at the moment has is, is not actually been handed over to the Navy. That, that's later on in the year, and there will be a suitable ceremony for that, obviously. Um, it's still. Um, still belongs to the Aircraft Carrier Alliance and the Section 7, that's why there are a number of contracts on board. And it, it's not until 2020 or thereabouts that it should be fully operational anyway? Uh, indeed, yeah. They're, they're, it's the first aircraft, Fixwing Aircraft Flight from it should be 2018, uh, and we'll build up gradually then as the aircraft become available and we can begin to buy them and then we can start them on board. And I think 2020 is around at the time we'll have two squadrons available to fly from. And, and of course, uh, thereafter, the HMS Prince of Wales is uh, taken over its place in uh, Ross Eyth, up near Edinburgh there. For, for, and it's effectively a copy of this aircraft carrier. Uh, it, it is indeed. Um, clearly, uh, as, you, as you build one, you, you learn lessons in it to, to make building the second one easier. Um, so in some respects, I think the Prince of Wales are uh, good Elizabeth, and, and uh, they're, they're, they're glad they're coming second. Uh, in other respects, I think they would have enjoyed a day like today. Well, look, thank you for your help this morning. Thanks for your input, and uh, I guess a very proud day for you. John, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much indeed. So I've been given one of these, uh, it's a bit early, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning now, um, but like they say, it's 5pm somewhere, so why not? Anyway, thanks very much for watching, if you like the video give it, a, uh, give the channel a subscribe for my future stuff and hit the ringer uh, button and you'll get notifications every time I release some new videos every Tuesday on this channel. Uh, and don't forget, smash that like button, thanks very much for watching, I'll see you next time, goodbye.